Dierica, how old are you? Nine years old. All right, let's get into it. Go. What do men do? Preach, provide, and protect. Preach how? Lead and guide the families. Don't depend on the system for knowledge. Provide how? Invest in their families. Create jobs and keep their money at their table. Protect how? Train for mental, physical, and financial. All right, can Jesus, a fucking president, or even me save you? No, I have to save myself. Absolutely. What are four things that every family should have in 2020? Guns, gold, land, and self-love. Got you. What is the Second Amendment? When you can have a firearm and nobody tell you that you can't have it at all. What is the Fourth Amendment? No unreasonable searches and seizures. All right, and if they get a search warrant, they need to have what? A probable cause. All right, if we ever have to shoot someone, do we shoot to kill or we shoot to wound? We shoot to kill. Let me ask you a personal question, daughter. In this family, do we bitch about and complain about a world that we already know is fucked up? No, we study the wolves and we get our shit together and we beat them at their own game. All right, Derek, grab that AR. As soon as your hand starts, you got five seconds to break it down. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. And if I die today, what's your job? To pick up where you left off and take care of my siblings. All right, I just want to do a little response here to the video you just saw that's circulating among the brotherhood, right? was rather a really disgusting video some people may think that it's cute you may think that it's you know a lot of you people that are out there in the world you so-called negroes particularly who i'm speaking to but you latinos native americans who are israelites you know you got this very uh cynical spirit you think you're going to deliver yourself this militant spirit where you're going to fight the devil and you're going to deliver yourself now i'm gonna say all praise to the most high yahweh by hashem yahweh shai Double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone and shalom to the hopefully elect. And this lesson is going to be entitled, Neither Shall My Sword Save Me. And this little militant spirit that you Negroes got, and you see this video of this so-called black man, which he's he's wicked as hell. Okay, you just know this guy is wicked. He got his two guns, he got a table full of guns, got his little daughter trained up, militant style, right, with the blindfold on, trying to be impressive. And you're going to be the first ones cut down. You think you're going to deliver yourself and then not only do you are you showing this and you're going to have people that think this is cool that this is oh yeah yeah you got their shit together and you got your shit together to go right into the grave because that's what's going to happen to you i want to play a particular thing that was said here i'm just playing the, the beginning check it out go. what do men do preach provide and protect preach how lead and guide the families don't depend on the system for knowledge provide how invest in their families create jobs and keep their money at their table Protect how? Train for mental, physical, and financial. All right, can Jesus, a fucking president, or even me save you? No, I have to save myself. Absolutely. What are four things so that you heard it right there. have in 2020? Right. He said, can Jesus, you know, that was the main thing he said, or any anybody else save you? And she said, no, I have to save myself. But you're not going to save yourself. And the, and, the, and the Savior's name is not Jesus, by the way. See, Jake thinks that because they, they know and realize that Christianity stinks, that the system stinks, that they're going to just throw away the Heavenly Father altogether. Well, Christianity, you know, is a false religion. White Jesus is a false god and an idol. But you still are responsible for the words written in the book. If you don't repent, you're going to be destroyed, man. Jake thinks because they can holler out who the white man wrote the Bible or say that they don't believe in a white Jesus. Christianity is fake. That makes you not liable no you still liable man the lord is going going to cut off two-thirds of you niggas now the title of the lesson comes from this this scripture this is psalms 44 and verse 4 it says thou art my king O power command deliverances for jacob through thee will we push down our enemies you see that now the little girl said no it's up to her to save herself her little badass can't save herself no matter how bad you how fast you can strip down weapons Right? No matter how many many tables of weapons you get, that damn dude and his little daughter, they're going to get mowed down. They're going to get mowed down when the time comes. And all you so-called Negroes out there that are thinking that this is the approach that you're going to take, you're going to deliver yourself, you're going to be your own savior, you're going to get you some weapons, you're going to doomsday prep, the Lord is going to kill you, man. You ain't going to deliver yourself. Through thee will we push down our enemies. Through thy name will we tread them under that rise up against us. For I will not trust in my bow, Neither shall my sword save me. That's the title. Neither shall my sword save me. And the modern day sword is, is a gun. 
but thou has saved us from our enemies. Thou has saved us from our enemies and has put them to shame that hated us. And the most high we boast all the day long and praise thy name forever. Say law. So there you go. That's how you're going to be delivered. This is Psalms 33. I'm going to start at verse 16. It says, There is no king saved by the multitude of an host. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. And if you want it, clearly you can see right here it says, No king is saved by how many troops he has. A mighty man is not delivered because he's big and diesel. Right? And horse is a vain thing for safety. Neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him. Upon them that hope in his mercy To deliver their soul from death And to keep them alive in famine Our soul waited for the Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai For he is our help And our shield You see For our heart shall rejoice in him Because we have trusted in his holy name There's two consecutive scriptures that say Through the name of the Lord You're going to be delivered Not by how many guns you got How many tables of weapons How fast you can strip it down you know, you got a little mantra. How you, how do, how, what does a man do? Protect and serve and this and that. Oh, uh, that's just, hey man, you so called Negroes, you ain't got it. You just in the earth, ugly as all fuck, ugly as all hell, you know, completely confused and gone. And you think by having these weapons on the table, man, that ain't, that ain't doing nothing, man. And you're gonna have Jason look at this. Yeah, that's what we need. We need to train our children. Let me tell you what's gonna happen. You and your children and all them weapons, you going into perdition. Bottom line, you can like it or not. Psalms 91 verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, Yahweh, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power, and him will I trust. See? And I'm just going to jump down quick. This is, you know, you see the way this lesson is going. I ain't going to read a whole lot. I, I'll just continue on. Surely, he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Why? Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall, bash thee, they shall bear thee up in their hands, lest, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. Because he hath known my name. Fuck your weapons. I take the Lord of hosts and his name and no weapons any day over you and all your weapons. Fuck it, Jake. Get on my nerves, man. You have a very demonic, proud spirit, spirit where you think you're going to deliver yourself, man. You must not know about this. This is Deuteronomy 32, 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. That's right. He is eternally. Job chapter 5. In verse 17, it says, Behold, happy is the man whom God correcteth. Therefore despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty. For he maketh sore and bindeth up. He woundeth and his hands make whole. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. Did you hear that? He shall deliver thee. In famine he shall redeem thee from death. And in war, if you're in a war, in war from the power of the sword. So wait a minute. You talking about going to war and knowing how to break weapons down and doing all this. You think that's going to deliver you. It's not going to deliver you. With all them guns on the table, if the Most High said, this is your day, you're done, it's your day, and you're done. Teaching your daughter that bullshit. In famine he shall redeem thee from death and in the war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. 
at destruction and famine thou shalt laugh neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee Did you hear that for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee why because the lord got command over all those things you have every man the most i can make every weapon on your table just jam up no none of them shits fire then what you gonna do Jake is a very carnal, basic, low, ugly, foolish people right about now. Disobedient, gainsaying people, man. That's why we say, fuck you two-third ass niggas. Wait till the Lord purge you niggas out. All you militant, black exploitation, black ass niggas. The Lord's going to kill you, man. Showing you how you who, who is your deliverer. Romans 11, 25. I'm going to go ahead to just verse 26. And so all Israel shall be saved. Eventually, all the Israelites are going to be saved. Even these two-third... Even these two-third monk beans. This nigga here with these stupid-ass dreads in his head. You know, fat-ass dookie braids in your damn hair, man. With all them shit on your neck. Trying to look like Slick Rick. Is that even gold? Is that gold, my nigga? It don't matter, man. Jake is an asshole. And so all Israel shall be saved. As it is written, there shall come out of Zion the Deliverer. And shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them when I shall take away their sins. As a matter of fact, this is who's coming to save. You talking about can, can Jesus save? No, it's up to me to deliver to save myself. Yeah, okay. Jeremiah 23, verse 5. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. And that's your howl shot. In his days, Judah shall be saved. And Israel shall dwell safely. You hear that? In his days, Judah shall be saved. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. And Israel shall dwell safely. And this is his name whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. His name ain't called Fred from up the block with all the guns. You know you know my cousin? Uh, Derek Grace. Derek Grace. He got all these weapons. Fuck Derek Grace. Derek Grace going into the grave. You better change the name to Derek Grave. This is Revelation 19 and verse 11. Because we got an army. And I saw heaven open and behold a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. And his name is called the word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses clothed in fine linen, white and clean. You see? So the Lord coming and lay that smack down. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword that with it he should smite the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of almighty power. You see? That's who's going to save us. That's who's going to deliver us, man. Jake, you think too small. You think with your little primitive pea shooters... Like you gonna do? Look at this nigga, proud ass, proud ass Jake, man. Get on my fucking nerves, man. Being all proud of some fucking weapons. The Lord is gonna cause two thirds to get murked. The elect gonna be delivered, and then you gonna be on top. When the Lord come, he gonna bring the severe heat to Esau. He gonna bring the big hurt from heaven. He got a whole army waiting to do work on these devils, man. But until he come, you ain't gonna be delivered. Psalms 124 verse one. If it had not been for the Lord, Salakia. If it had not been the Lord, Yahweh, who was on our side, now may Israel say, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers, the snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our hope is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Not in Pookie and Ray Ray and their weapons. Okay? Not in your get rich quick schemes. Not in your self appointed messiahs like Grandmaster right. Jay and these other okay. men who think that they're going to deliver themselves. The best in their and they're going to save, save our people. No. 
protect You're sadly mistaken there. Train for mental. At the end of the day, man, you can't you can't save yourself. All right, can Jesus, so, hey, a fucking president, there, or even this? me save you? Repent. No, I have to save right. myself. Absolutely. Repent. What are four things that every family should have in 2000? All praise to hell by the king. Guns, gold, land, and self.